Hi, this is Brian Reese with Video Solutions here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We do video, photography, video editing, and graphic design. Today we're going to show you how to use Photoshop and how to add movement to a photo. Now, right now we have one on screen. And what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. That's one I was playing with earlier. Um, we're going to go ahead and take her out. And we're going to cause her to grow in this particular scene. How do we do that? First of all, we go ahead and right click and um, rasterize this image. And as we've clicked on it already, we go over here to the uh, quick selection tool, click it, and then click what's called select subject. And we select the subject. It takes a few seconds, literally a few seconds, depending on how powerful your system is. Go ahead and click the layer again. And then when you do that, go ahead and click Control J because you're removing her to a separate layer by herself. As you see, there she is there now. This is what she looked like before. Okay. Now, what we need to do is go ahead and remove her from the background. Remove her from this background that you see here. Now, how do we do that? Glad you asked. First of all, we click Control and then, excuse me, hold Control and click the image and get the marching ants cooking again. We click the bottom layer, which is going to be our background layer. Then we go up here to where it says edit. Then we click fill. And make sure this is selected content aware. It has other select other choices, but the one we want is called content aware. Go ahead and click OK. Everything else is set fine. Just leave it like it is. Don't play around with them unless you're just experimenting. Go ahead and click OK. And what it does is it removes her from this background. Sometimes it does a fantastic job. Sometimes it doesn't do the best job. And if it doesn't, we go ahead and click select and then deselect. And then we'll go ahead and do this one more time. With the background selected, go ahead and get your selection tool there. Lasso tool. Go ahead and put it all the way around her like this. Let's go ahead and do that again. Yeah, even professionals make mistakes. Control J will release that. Go ahead and try it one more time. Get as close as you can. Just want to kind of keep some of that couch in there. As close as you can. It's even the uh, image in the in the in the wood there. Good deal. And it creates the marching ants again just on your selection. The reason why we do this is because there may be just a couple of places. Right here we have a pretty big slosh right in the middle. Um, so we go ahead and click edit again. Go to fill. And then click OK. And see what it does with that. Not bad, not bad. Now we would have to clean all of this up if we weren't making her grow. If we were making her move from side to side, we would have to clean that up. And we would use the clone tool to get rid of a lot of this unnecessary information. Let's go ahead and click select, deselect. Go ahead and open up the layer and put her back in there again. Okay. Go ahead and cause her to grow right now. Just want to fill in some of the space. Click that layer first. Control T, and we'll cause her to grow just a little bit to kind of cover a little bit of that up. Now, go ahead and click the check mark again. Then we go up to where it says Window. Come down to Timeline. Click Create Video Timeline, because that's what we want to do, create a video timeline. Go ahead and click Video Timeline. Now, because we want to transform her, cause her to grow, this says position. How do you change that from position to transform? Glad you asked that question. Go back up to layer. And then on the copy layer, you want to right click and say convert to smart object. And when we convert to smart object, that changes from position to transform. Because we want her to grow. Transformer is more than meet the eye. Okay, so we go ahead and click the uh, watch there, which is a keyframe animation tool. Click that button. Move across the timeline just a little bit. Open up that layer back. Right click. I'm not right click. Control T. She want her to grow. And 
click OK. And it leaves a time, uh, a keyframe here. Now, if you want to reduce your size, you can do the same thing. Just move the, the keyframe over a little bit. Hit Control T. Reduce it down just a little bit. Okay. Then hit the check mark again for completion. Now, if you hit play, you'll see her grow. That's how you add a little bit of movement, a little bit of motion inside of a photo. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know. We'd be more than happy to answer them. This is Brian Reese with BD Solutions here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Have a great day.